Okay, another block video. You may be asking yourself, <laughs> another block video, really? Okay, this is our new block that we're gonna do today and I'll explain to you about it. This is the first block that I showed you and actually I guess this would be the first block. This is the turtle. If you have seen the turtle video, this is the block that I make the turtles from. If you haven't seen it, you can go back and watch that one. This was the second block, or maybe it kind of labels the first block video all by itself. This is the one if you're going to build something with uh, wings. You have all the, the material is movable to make something with wings, uh, something with the ears faces that's this block and we are working on the videos with this one okay but I have one more I want to show you as we get going and that's this one and why this one is this is one that I start with a lot and I'm going to start with in the videos if I want something that has legs the other ones kind of for things that have wings and birds uh, dragonfly butterfly things like that this is one I came up with that I always wanted to build a lizard. I live in Arizona. I always thought these lizards were so stinking cool. Wanted to forge lizards, wanted to have something. Um, there's a lot more things you can make out of this than a lizard. Okay, you gotta turn your imaginations on. Now, this little lizard worked pretty good. Uh, it's got more of a salamander look for it. You really have to. You'll hear me repeat myself. Whatever you're building, you need to look it up. Uh, search it. Look at the pictures, the images. What does his body look like? With this one, I had the legs going, both of them all going up. The lizard doesn't do that. His front ones go out and forward, and the back ones go out and back. So once you change them around, he'll look correct. Okay, there's... We'll talk about in these later videos of that there's key details you need to get right in order for it to look like what it's supposed to. Once you have those key details correct, it will look like what it is, no matter what everyone in the season will go, oh, a lizard, or something at least really close, salamander, lizard, okay? Now, not all my stuff has ever worked. Uh, the first couple of lizards ever. Here's one I grabbed out of the scrap pile. Look at that ugly piece of junk. I was trying to forge a lizard out of one piece and a bar. Still got the spider webs and I pulled it out of there. Didn't, it didn't work. One of the legs broke off. I didn't have enough material. That's where I started using things like this. Okay. To have enough material. Some of the turtles right here is a pile of turtle parts. Some that didn't work. I didn't have the right material. This little dude, his head broke off. I had it way too, too skinny, too thin. This one I cut wrong. This one was a lot, way too much material for the legs, but not enough for the shell. Okay? You have to practice. You have to try it. You have to move the material. That's where this one comes into place. Anything you can think of, and you can think of other things. If you had the tooling, you can make a giant bench out of this. Okay, but what I like about it is this block allows me to have the material to have a tail section, a rear end, a back set of legs, a good amount of mass for a stomach area, a body, no matter what that shape is, your front legs, and a neck and a head. Okay, you can make a, uh, a lot of things. If you like horses, you can make a horse out of this. Okay, this block, um, as we've said in the other blocks, is the ability to move the material. So now you have a good foundation, a good starting point to build a lot of different things. Now that the material is in place, now we can make some cuts and build whatever item you want. You can go from here and go into a lot of different stuff. But let me explain the block real quick using our handy clay again. Okay, this is this block. 
Okay, going back a little bit. The measurements on this, just a rough measurement to get you started, get your block made, and you're going to have to build a few and just practice. See if that gives you enough material. This block is one inch cut, one inch cut, two inch center. So it's a four inch block. Okay, the piece of clay is not exactly that, but we come in one inch, come in one inch, you have two inches of space in the middle. Okay, now is where you can come up and you're going to open these up, open these up. Okay, you fuller out the bottom, always fuller out the bottom, otherwise that cut can actually kid, kind of keep going. The cold shot, it'll get in there and uh, because it's sharp, it'll start cutting, it'll keep going. Okay, I also really like this two inch gap in here because if you're gonna put it in your vise, it's nice to be able to fit that body in your vise to be able to work into these areas for cutting or punching for spreading these over it's nice for that body to fit in your vise you might measure your vise jaws you might change this body width or size to match a depth of a jaw okay unless you got another way you're going to do it but that is pretty handy for it to fit in there to work on whether it's this is be the head or feet it's nice to be able to fit this in your vise okay so coming back over here what we've got is we've spread these out we've fullered it this can be our tail section this we can call our head section these sections down here allow you to have the, the legs okay like we talked about in the other block, when we talk about the elephant ears and the uh, wings, you can thin these before you spread these out, right? You can also do that here with these legs. You can, when you go to make these cuts, if you don't need all this material that's in these legs, when you go to split them out, okay? you can make them skinnier. Take this center section out. You know what I mean? You can take this center section out just like in the other block video. You can cut and thin this out. You might find another use for it. You can take that section out so that once you've fullered in, this is the one that we didn't, this is the one that we did. You have this, you have this gap. What that gap allows you to do is almost have a center line of, of, of mass. Put your legs out on the edge. This one will always be right down that, the middle, but this one has this mass, runs down the middle with the legs on the outside. That comes in handy, one, so you don't have so much material for the legs. Two, because of the way you can place it and different things when you're drawing out these legs. And like on the elephant and a couple of these things, because we cut the center out, we have a wide space in between these legs. Okay, and you might see something different in this as you're going. I would suggest keeping a little notebook because you might find something in here, some crazy pose or something and be like, oh, I see, I see an alligator, I see something, okay? But basically this block's gonna get you the material in the right places and now you have something, anything, a dog, a cat, a horse, an alligator, a lizard, anything that has four legs, this block will get you there in a hurry so that you don't end up with whatever the heck this was, <laughs> okay? That's what I'm trying to do is help you. We'll get to there. You can fuller in this. We're going for a lizard. You take that, start hammering it out. Put him butt first. Move the legs where you need it. Right? Hammer that thing out. Get him out there. You'll be able to flip it. 
Hit him out there, hit him out there. Right? We'll be able to get a tail out of it. You can come in with your fuller and keep drawing this to wherever you need it, whatever it's going to be. Whether you're going to make a dinosaur, you have enough mass here in the center. Okay, the video we're going to do on this block first would probably be a lizard, like this little guy, salamander. Okay, his neck is just fullered. If you're not familiar with fuller, you can look it up. There's lots of other videos on the tooling. A fuller is just a round surface. We're taking a round deal, pinching it down. Okay, I built a set in my fly press. Works very well for fullering, pinching off a section like that. But what this is going to allow you to do is lots of things. You could put a whole dragon's head on this. Remember we talked about the dragon? You could twist this. You could refold it to get rid of the twist lines. Now you have a big section for a head. You have the material. That's the whole point of these blocks. Just put the material where you need it so that you can build whatever you want. If you can build it out of the clay right here, we can take this same piece and build whatever this you want it to be. There's some preparation work. When you cut these legs, how heavy do you want the legs? Do you want a belly line going across the base of this? Then you would want to cut out a little section in the middle or push these legs out pretty far. You have enough mass here for a cool looking body. If you're doing a horse, you know what I mean? You got, they have these big hip, big shoulder. You can figure out your tooling to push in and raise these up to squish this push the center down okay those of you, if you just turn your imagination on and let it rip you got all kinds of wild stuff if you can do it out of the clay you can figure it out and do it out of the steel okay whichever one the cool thing about this what I love about it this little block like the other ones, allows the material to be in a place where now you can play with it. Turn on your imagination, get your cutting out, however you want to make these cuts. Again, this one is one inch in, two inch in the center, one inch out. This is seven eighths square bar. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again. Hopefully this type of information earned your subscription. Please subscribe, like the videos, let me know what you're building. I know if you got any questions and yes we're going to start now i have these three blocks out we're going to start the videos on building this into a lizard going into more details and do that building this into a dragonfly a hummingbird a uh, dinosaur the elephant how it do the ears you know really out of the steel instead of the clay but these are your good starting points Thank you again for watching and uh, get out there, build something. Let's go.